Every year, the sky above Berg-sur-Mer becomes a playground for animal figures and comic heroes. For one week, kite owners from 20 countries entertain audiences with their flying skills. It's the 33rd time the International Kite Festival is taking place here in the small town on the Opal coast of France. This is a great hobby, and it's getting bigger and bigger. It's like an addiction. Once you've started, you're hooked. I love it. I come every year to see the kites. You see a lot of unusual ones. It's really impressive to see what they can do. The French team Start Air are the reigning sport kite world champions. They prefer sporty, streamlined kites. As Benoit Flamand explains, they can be ultralight, light or medium weight. We choose the kites according to the strength of the wind. If the wind comes from below, like today, this kind is the best because it catches the gusts optimally. Here, Benoit and his three friends are preparing for their next show. They won the world champion title last year for precision. Maxime de Savoy issues the commands. I like flying kites because you do it with others out in the fresh air. You never really know how things will go, so you need a lot of practice in order to pull off a good show. A few metres away, competitors from Kuwait are sending up the longest kite at the festival. It's a stingray. They practice their routine in the desert. The size of it's 1,550 square meter. Yeah, it's huge. Another large size participant is a children's book figure, Falki the Dragon. It was built by German designer Mike Schlenger. Red Alert, a team from Moscow, is practicing for a later performance with French kiting enthusiasts, including the Start Air champions. Mike Loskov is a regular guest here. Last nine years we came here to fly kites and we have a lot of friends here, so nice week uh, doing what you love. It's perfect. The French-Russian team encounters adverse wind conditions during the show, but many formations are successful despite the lulls and sudden strong gusts. Benoit knows the tricks. We sometimes let the kites float in the air to recover a little. You have to know your limits, like in every sport. Every second year, a new world champion is chosen in berg sur mer the next one will be in April 2020, when enthusiasts will gladly go fly a kite. <laughs>